Evening. Is the Jeff Davis 8 really the Jeff Davis 9? The string of deaths that's grabbed headlines began back in 2005, but is an earlier murder linked to those crimes? Tonight, KPLC's Teresa Schmidt talks to a Jennings woman who believes solving her mother's murder would lead police closer to the others. Lakeisha Myers was only 16 years old when her mother, Sheila Como, died of health problems stemming from a severe beating. This was Sheila before. This was Sheila in the hospital a couple of weeks after the beating on February 14th, 1998. Our family was, was told that she was beaten in the head with a 2 by 4 uh, Upon arriving at the hospital in the room, you could see chunks of wood in her hair. She was not recognizable. Como died a year and a month after a related surgery. She was 36 years old. Myers admits her mother's way of life is what allowed her to get into trouble. The lifestyle that my mother led was the same as these other women. She was a drug addict. She was a promiscuous person. She says her mother had some of the same associates as the women found dead in Jeff Davis, and she believes they are all connected. My mom had association with some of the women that died. I know that some of their associates were also associates of my mom's. Solve Sheila Como's murder, and Lakeisha believes investigators will gain information that pertains to the others. Now, I do believe that it, it's all related. Jennings Police Chief Johnny Lassiter disputes that Como's murder is related to the others because he says none were beaten as she was. I don't think it is connected because the, the manner of death is different from the eight women that have been found. As well, he says the case is unsolved, partly because Como would not answer investigators' questions. Once she recovered sufficiently enough to cooperate with the investigation, she didn't, and the case remains open as an unsolved homicide. My understanding is she recovered sufficiently enough to talk, and that she, at that time, chose not to talk to the investigators. Still, Myers says her mother and the others deserve justice. Then people need to step up and say what they know. At your service in Jennings, Teresa Schmidt, KPLC 7 News. Chief Lassiter encourages anyone with information that could help solve Como's murder to call Jennings Police at 821-5530.